A Russian woman from the Kursk region has caused a stir on social media by sending an emotional video message to Putin. In her statement, the woman expressed dissatisfaction with the ongoing military actions and their consequences for the Russian border regions. After the Ukrainian armed forces began a military operation in the Kursk region, Russians felt the weight of the war and understood the feelings of Ukrainians, now demanding that the Russian authorities withdraw their army from Ukraine. Vladimir Vladimirovich, please take your troops out of Ukraine and it will leave us alone, said the crying woman. Tensions in the border regions of the Russian Federation are growing amid military actions. The military actions on the territory of Russia are causing serious damage to its infrastructure. Burning houses and destroyed buildings have been repeatedly captured on video after the bombing of the Russian army, which is trying to push the Ukrainian armed forces out of the Kursk region. The appeal quickly shared on social media, causing a lot of controversy in Russia. Some users supported her courage, expressing agreement that Russia should leave Ukraine and that this is the fastest way to end the war. Others reproached her for criticizing the policy, arguing that such statements could be perceived as anti-patriotic. Russians' reaction to the Kursk region offensive closely resembles how they reacted to Yevgeny Prigozhin's mutiny a year ago. It is one of complete apathy and shifting the responsibility for solving the problem to the federal authorities and law enforcement. Ironically, this is the public reaction that the Kremlin itself has sought to achieve with all of its actions over the past 25 years, and especially the past three years. Its efforts have resulted in the average Russian being completely deprived of civic subjectivity, with any manifestation of it immediately punishable by criminal sentences or being forced out of the country under the threat of imprisonment. So the Kursk operation demonstrated that civic identity is a formality for Russians and that it does not grow stronger in times of crisis. Not even Kursk region residents lined up at military enlistment offices after Ukraine launched its attack on August the 6th. It would thus be strange to expect that men from the Zabaykalsky region in Siberia, for example, would line up to defend Kursk. Russia has tricked a group of young men from Ghana, Africa, into fighting in Ukraine. Those lucky enough to survive are begging for help. The story about the incident was aired on the Ghanaian channel 3 News. Young Ghanaians were lured to the Russian Federation with the promise of work in security and agriculture with a salary of 400,000 rubles or about $4.3,000. Immediately upon arrival in Kostroma on August the 6th, they signed contracts with the Russian Ministry of Defense, being sure that this was an agreement for work. However, the reality turned out to be terrible. The Africans were immediately sent to the front without any training. They are now under constant shelling somewhere on the front line near occupied Donetsk. Of the 14 people, only three managed to survive. Residents of Ghana managed to contact journalists from their country. We are suffering. We are begging you. Please save us. We thought we would work here as security guards. Help, they say in the video. It is noteworthy that the young people were recruited by their famous compatriot named Abraham. He took 130,000 rubles, or about $1.4,000, from each of them for help. In addition, the young people paid for their visa and flight to Russia themselves. Recall the Russian military has ramped up its recruitment of mercenaries from Africa to support its frontline operations in Ukraine. This is according to Kyiv's military intelligence service, adding that most foreign mercenaries are recruited from Rwanda, Burundi, Congo and Uganda. A sign-in bonus of $2,000 is promised for these foreign recruits in exchange for their agreement to become part of a special unit as assault troops. They are also said to receive a monthly allowance of $2,200 on top of health insurance and Russian passports for them and their families. The existence of African mercenaries in the Russian military has been noted since 2023 when the so-called Russian Africa Corps was created. Consisting of over 2,000 soldiers and officers, the unit reportedly operates alongside Moscow's regular army and Storm Z units. Many of these mercenaries served in the Wagner Group and already had experience in Syria, Libya, Burkina Faso and Niger.